Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. A sailor from Kansas knew he was too young to be drafted, but felt he needed to serve in World War II. As Gwen Bevel and photojournalist Nick Kiefer show us, his years in the Navy put him in the middle of the action. Frank Shiner says he hadn't even mentioned the Navy to his parents when he handed his father a permission slip, but without hesitation, his father signed it, and Shiner was off to serve. This is when I was first in, when I first went in. And it didn't take Frank Shiner long to get into some hot water by loaning a fellow sailor his ID. His punishment was bread and water only. The Marines were great. They slipped the stuff in, in between the bread and, and they gave us the candy. And then in the evening, they let us smoke, you know. He also slipped up on his curfew. My buddy and I, and we didn't get in in time. We came back 15 minutes late. Uh, we go find a month's pay. A month's pay was $78 back in those days, and despite the trouble he found, he says life in the Navy was good. You could go in any room, work room, and you'll find somebody sitting on the bench. They were playing cards. He says they also celebrated mass on the ship and even got to take day passes to places like the Royal Hawaiian on Waikiki Beach. I got pictures. Like this one of the crew of electricians he worked with. Whatever got damaged in the electric, electrical pod, I was there to do what I could to fix it. And he says their job was key after the ship would take a hit. But they had a lot of kamikazes. They, uh, they, they were making their last attempt. He says at one time a suicidal pilot blew right through the big guns. We got hit with this plane. The wing was on the, the gun mount. And the rest of the plane had gone down and exploded alongside the ship. In the meantime, it did serious damage to the ship. It blew out uh, number one elevator. Uh, it, it traveled something like 600 feet in the air. That's the, what's left of it, just a hole. Shiner says the explosion killed fellow sailors. On the starboard side, they had 12 bodies lined out. I felt bad, and that, that's the only time I really felt bad. This sailor saw so much, the USS Enterprise was the most decorated ship of World War II. This is the list of all the uh, actions, the battles that we took. The ship saw more than 20 battles. I have the, a piece of the plane uh, with me. It's a piece of the Japanese bomber from that fateful day. The wing was there, so I just took my hacksaw and cut that off. He's also held on to this, a plank from the ship deck. He says he's thankful to have spent those three years in the Pacific. And I still am. I, uh, only I'm not enlisting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he says he would do it all over again if his country needed him, but the jokester says at nearly 95, he'd prefer a desk job this time around. Shiner says at one time, the sailors rode a ferry boat to an island where he met a woman who was selling hot dogs. He says just a few weeks later, they were in line at the courthouse waiting to get married. He and Hilda went on to have eight children. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Lawyers here, one very special American hero, and that's electrician's mate Frank Schreiner, who served our country in the South Pacific aboard the USS Enterprise and even survived 12 battles on behalf of all of Kansas. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you. And I'm honored to receive this gift from you folks. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.